Hi everyone, and welcome back into the Fox 9 Game Room. I'm your host, Pierre Nujem. When you think of the term professional athlete, you probably think of some of your favorites like Justin Jefferson, Kirill Kaprizov, or Anthony Edwards, but professional athlete also applies to the world of esports. Yes, it may look a little bit different, but in the latest installation of the Game Room, we'll give you a behind the scenes look at what a day in the life of a professional gamer looks like and how it looks similar to some of those athletes you cheer for on the field. Honestly, it's a lot more intense than I think people would give us credit for. Yo, what's up? Just got done doing a, a workout here at the gym. It's where you'll catch me pretty much every single day before scrims. Just woke up, it is 11 a.m. I know that sounds kind of late, but practice usually starts pretty late in the day so East Coast and West Coast can play each other. So I'm about to walk to the office and get started with the day. So this is our setups. We're all spread out across each other, so when we're playing, we can do fist bumps like you would on LAN. We're, okay, we went around, let's go. I'm a Call of Duty player for Minnesota Rocker. Walk me through what a day in the life of Jose looks like as a, as a professional gamer. Because the only thing that I, that I do is wake up, I take a shower, I turn on my PC and I start playing video games all day. Just like that? Yeah. Yeah, and, how, like that. and how long do you play for? Uh, I usually play for like 14 hours a day. 14? I mean, nah, not 14, like 10, 10 12 hours a day. Nice, oh, I can go. Yep. Shot it. Try. No! Nice! Practice usually lasts, in Rocket League, scrims are only about two hours long mm -hmm. um, because it's constantly playing and it's so much action, like all at once. If you play more than that, you're just frying your brain. Yeah. Um, it's like nine, 10 hour days plus our own um, like extra kind of studying after that. I usually put a lot of time into the game after prac. Um, I've always been someone who like plays a lot um, outside of practice hours. Um, so generally like I'll invest a lot of my time into just like playing the game and uh, watching other people play the game. People have different routines. Um, for me, honestly, I kind of roll to bed like an hour before prac a lot of the time. Um, it's definitely different from like an athlete schedule where you're like up super early, like working out. I mean, for some people that's what they want to do. Um, but I think there's more of a focus on like the mental aspect and um, getting a lot of rest. When you tell people you're a pro gamer, mm -hmm. what do they say? Uh, they always say, what is that? How can you make money playing video games? That's impossible. I think for people who aren't invested in the scene, you think of someone who plays video games for 12 hours a day and you think like, oh, you know, like no job, they're not doing any, they're lazy, stuff like that. But this is what we get paid to do. We're like paid to compete and be the best in the world. And in order for us to be the best, we have to play a lot. There's been a stigma for a long time around them. Um, probably rightfully so, at least, at least partially, you know, you, a lot of people are sitting inside playing video games for nine, 10 hours a day, however long, but um, I think there's, at least when you're doing it professionally, I think a lot of people tend to have a, a lot more respect for that. How you guys feel? Good? Everybody, remember, like I said, just be assertive with your calls and play super aggressive. Right. Yep. Some people say, I want to be like you because they think it's so easy to be a pro. So. And, and why is it not easy to be a pro? Because you have to, to sacrifice a lot of things and you have to put so many hours in, in the game. Sacrifice things like what? Like your social life. Why is that hard? I mean because it's not easy to be in your room every day and seeing that you're losing friends because you you stop going out. That sounds kind of hard. I mean, yeah. But you have a passion for this. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to lose my friends. How do you maintain the two? I mean, I mean, you can make a balance of that, but if you want if you really want to be the best, you have to do it. Like, you have to sacrifice something. And do you really want to be the best? Yeah. How important is that to you? It's the most important thing in my life right now. Look at that shot! I got, got it. Nice! nice. nice. Let's go. How long do you plan on playing the game? Long as I can. Yeah. I think I've got a few year, or a few more years left in me at least, but okay. we'll see. We won the game, <laughs> yay! Um, sometimes it's pretty stressful, and I kind of have to think to myself, okay, the, today was like a bad day of practice, but in the grand scheme of things, I would prefer this over literally any 9 to 5 I could ever have in my entire life, so I'm very happy. What kind of life has this career provided for you? I mean, it's provided, I mean, pretty much a dream life. I moved out when I was 18 um, and moved 
up here to Minnesota. Nice. 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 I get to go play video games on my own boss. I just got to show up for scrims basically and I'm good. Um, I get to compete, which is the biggest thing for me. Um, I'm very competitive. I just want to go out there. I want to win. I want to be the best in the world.